not officially your Aunt Carol, but your Aunt Carol through my love of your grade, Susan. So what you're about to see is a video that was put together with your cousin, Laura Lapin. <laughs> Um, from your baby shower, so your folks got together and they're good friends and your grandparents good friends and made a video for you and it's wishing you, um, giving you advice and making predictions for your future and they also have a time capsule that hopefully will get open on your 18th birthday. So I'm going to do my thing now and that is um, that um, I wish for you. Uh, as many wonderful friends as your Granny Susan has. Um, I know that I'm predicting you inherited what your great-grandfather had, and that was, I'm talking about Lawrence Abernathy Red. When he walked into a room, it lit up, and Granny Susan got that. And everybody wants to be around her, and they'll want to be around you. So many friends is silver, but one good friend is gold, and your Granny Susan is my gold. Okay? So, love you. Can't wait to get to know you. And here we go. Hi, Lindy. Uh, I guarantee you when you look at this when you're 18, there's going to be no hair up here. <laughs> so, this is very, uh, this is good for me, too, so well, I can look back a, at myself. Let's get a it's good. Been, it's been thinning recently, <laughs> but I still, I'm holding on right now. So, uh, Lindy, uh, advice for the future. Uh, first of all, well, before I get to that, I am so excited and this is actually kind of emotional talking to you right here because you're not here yet uh you're still two or three months away and uh so as far as future advice for you i'm sure i'll have a lot more to give you in 18 years but the best one i can tell you is if something's really bothering you if times are tough think about if it's gonna be a problem in a year if it's not gonna be a problem in a year then don't worry about it uh, i used to stress out about so many things uh, just 10 years ago uh that now i wouldn't give two thoughts about uh, being being 29 right now, like I'm really old. Uh, but I am uh, I'm extremely excited to see you. I can't wait to see you. I know that I'm going to be wrapped around your finger. I know I don't have a chance. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, be that stern dad, uh, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it with you. Uh, I, my prediction is your mom is going to be the disciplinarian. I'm going to go ahead and say that right now. Uh, if we end up having a boy, I may take over that role right there, but uh, I can't wait to meet you. I already love you. Uh, I always, I'm always on your mom's belly right now, listening to what you're doing. Uh, just now, I got to start feeling you kick, and we tried the flashlight. We're gonna try the flashlight deal on to see if you kick and react to that. And it's just all very exciting and kind of overwhelming right now, in a good way. But uh, I love you, and I can't wait to see you. My precious Lindy, I might start crying because just the thought of you being here is just. So awesome, I can't even tell you. Your future is going to be so bright because you have the best parents in the whole world and, of course, the best grandparents also. Um, I predict that you are going to be... You're going to be an athlete, you're going to be an artist, and you're going to be awesome. So I predict you will become the triple A. Oh, I love that, Susan. Um, of course, you're going to be beautiful because you've just got the genes. You're going to be, though, more important than anything, the beauty. It's going to be your kindness. It's going to be you're going to love people, and you're going to know that you are no better than anybody else and that we're all brothers and sisters. And I just know that your love is just going to shine. Um, then I'm supposed to tell you what else. That's it. Pictures. You talked about so the future that? and gave her advice, right? And, Lydia, I just want you to know I will be your crazy grandma all Forever, Fine. and that's okay that you find me weird. <laughs> Love ya, Lindy. We're just gonna have so much fun, and there are so many people here that like to party. So, we're gonna teach you how to float in the river and how to kayak, and you're gonna be a sporty little girl. And we are gonna have a blast. We're looking forward to and she's you. gonna be artistic too, Grandma. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's gonna. Cowboy, so she's gonna have a little bit of everything. Okay, well, what I what I hope is that this finds uh, this finds you. How old is she gonna be? She's gonna be 18. 18. I hope it uh, finds you uh, that you like your uh, dad. 
Yeah. But I can already tell uh, that you're a lot like your dad because I was touching uh, Sally's belly, and uh, you didn't fight back. <laughs> Sally uh, fought back when she was a baby. And I'd like to say stay away from boys, but probably at 18 it's too late. So I just say we love you. We're Perfect. excited. I have two things to say. One, you will not be married until you're 30. And two, you will be prom queen. <laughs> and that is all. Alright, Lindy, I'm, I'm Dan Vanderlaan. Your aunt, I mean your grandma Susie coached me in high school. And I played a lot of basketball with grandpa Mike. Um, my prediction is that you'll go to the University of Texas. And I think you will be a sports analysis because you're going to be athletic. You'll have a great athletic career in college. Probably hopefully playing basketball. Then you will uh, be on TV and be very artistic and you'll also be, like I said, a sports analysis and be able to commentate from your Uncle Mike on all the Oh, games. that's a great prediction. Prediction. Can't wait to see if it comes true. Bye, Dan. Bye. I'm just so excited. I can't wait to meet you. And when you're 18, you're going to be the best person in the world. a very successful coach after a very successful high school career. What about college? She's not going to play basketball in college? Uh, yes. <laughs> She's going to play for the University of Texas. You are going to play for the University of Texas. Um, you're also going to be able to sketch anything. So you're, you'll be up there I predict that you're going to be a very famous sketch artist also. I think she'll probably go to Texas A&M because it's the best college. John, I don't America. think so. There's really no other choice. <laughs> what other no, predictions? I think she'll probably go to the University of Texas. Yeah. My, other, sec, my second, no, I, that's my last, least favorite school. But if you got to go there, you got to go there. And how do you, how, what is your relationship to the Murphy family? Uh, we've known the Murphy since my wife and... Susan coached at Lanier High School back in the mid-80s. Wow. So that's like 30 years now. Man, that definitely oh, makes you, damn. and by the time we, we, you know, 2031, that is really going to be a long yeah. day. Well, I just hope we're around for 20 You are going to be around. <laughs> and we're going to be at this beautiful lake house celebrating Lindy's 18th birthday, maybe. Possibly, unless I run into financial problems and have to sell it. But I'm hoping I can hang on to it. How old were you when you first met Lindy's great grandma? Oh, me. Long time ago. Yeah, how old were you? Were you like in your 20s or 30s or? In the 30s, I yeah. think. We were. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, y'all were good, good friends, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 And you did some things together? Lo lots of stuff together. What was the funnest types of Party stuff? Party together, go shopping, having fun together. Shopping, partying. Oh, and yeah. by the way, she was an awesome shopper for yes. her daughter, Susan. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's a good one. Hi, Lindy. I'm your Grand Aunt Linda, and you are going to be best friends with my granddaughter who was just born three weeks ago, and her name is Kay Ann, and y'all are going to be best, best friends forever, just like I'm best, best friends with your grandma, and your daddy was so special to me when he was born. I've, I've known your mom and dad. I haven't known your mom, but I've known your dad since you were born. And um, I think that you're a very, very lucky young lady to come into such a good family with people who are going to love you no matter who you are or, or what you choose. First of all, you don't know how lucky you are to have the parents that you have with Sally and Brent, but the grandparents that you have with Susan and Mike. It's been probably 27 years since I met your, mom, your grandma. And uh, just has been one of the dearest friends of mine. Like one of those parts. The one okay, thing I'm going to say before I leave is I hope right. that you have the fortune 
that we have do you to have that good friends for your whole life. Which now, second thing, I think, second thing, I think that you're going to go to UT. Uh, yes. Hook them. <laughs> but after you graduate, I think you're going to go to Juilliard. And I believe that you are going to be an incredible artist. Hey, Lindy, this is Joe, uh, your inherited uncle. I'll be around a lot. I uh, just wanted to tell you um, that you have two very talented parents, uh, loving parents, so treat them right and uh, don't squander those genes. You've got a big basketball player and a great artist, so utilize that, that talent that you will have and uh, I wish you luck and uh, congratulations on being born. Hi, Lindsay. Uh, it is May 25th, 2013 today and I'm eager to meet you. I'm really hope you are doing great and enjoying being 18 and just remember to always follow your heart and think the best of every situation and you'll do great. Love you. Hey, Lindy, I uh, went to school, uh, college with your dad and the only uh, advice that I have for you is if uh, you guys get mad at each other, you know, family is awesome and you know, family and friends are the best thing in life, so don't stay mad at them too long. Hi, Lindy Grace. This is your grandpa, Mikey Murphy. I think that one day you will become a very famous person. When you're young, you'll be very spoiled. I can tell you that for a fact. But you will be very famous, either in athletic endeavors or academic endeavors, as you will be very much your own person. Look forward to seeing you, Lindy. Lindy, I hope that you get skills like this from your dad. He's much better at coming up with the perfect thing to say on the spot. I, on the other hand, don't like to be put on the spot and really don't like to be on this side of the camera. So this is coming to you a day late after the shower. I've been thinking of things that I wanted to say and teach you before you were even a speck, before your dad even proposed, which sounds crazy, but I've always known that I wanted to be your mom, and I'm so excited to meet you and finally get to hold you in my arms. I know that things in your life can't possibly go as perfectly as I wish that they could, but I hope that when you go through rough times that you think of this video and all the people on it and how they drove over an hour in the rain to go to your shower to celebrate your arrival and we hadn't even gotten to met, meet you yet. Your dad and I love you very much and we could not be more excited to finally meet you. I love you and I hope that you love this video. <laughs>